Hey everyone, it is Julie here with Tip Ranks, and today we're taking a look at a few of the best rated stocks from the past week. So let's get into it. All right guys, welcome back. Thank you all so much for being here. We are in the middle of earnings season, and as such, we have a lot of analysts reiterating price targets following companies' earnings reports. Today, we're taking a look at three trending stocks that come in as a strong buy after having several analysts update price targets lately. So we're gonna take a look at these companies, what it is that they do, and of course, how those analysts are weighing in on the stock's future potential. Just before we get into these three stocks, this is your friendly reminder that if you enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Now let's get right into our three strong buy trending stocks. First up, we're taking a look at Boston Scientific. Their stock trades under the ticker BSX, currently priced just shy of $72 per share. Over the past year, they have grown 36%, including 13% in the last three months, cooling off ever so slightly this past week. They currently score a 10 out of 10 on the tip rank smart score. Boston Scientific is a biomedical engineering firm. They are one of the world's largest medical device companies with over 19,000 patents issued and about 29,000 employees worldwide. For more than 35 years, Boston Scientific has advanced the practice of less invasive medicine by providing a broad and deep portfolio of innovative products, technologies, and services. Their wide range of medical specialties include endoscopies, interventional cardiology, peripheral interventions, and rhythm management. They just shared their Q1 earnings report last week on April 24th, where they did come out with both an earnings and revenue beat. They reported Q1 earnings per share of 56 cents, beating expectations by 5 cents per share, and the company generated net sales of 3.856 billion during the first quarter, which grew 13.8%. Now the company said that they continue to invest for the long term in their innovative portfolio and clinical science to benefit patients globally while delivering differentiated financial performance. Taking a look at what the bulls say versus bears say. The bulls highlight that with Ferropulse still in its early innings of U.S. launch and Watchmen well positioned for label expansion, the low double-digit top-line profile is expected to be sustainable. On the other side, the bears do say that the operating margin came in slightly below estimates, which could signal cost management challenges. Recently weighing in on the Boston Scientific stock was a five-star analyst from Raymond James. They said that Boston Scientific was strong where it needed to be strong and exceeded a high bar on nearly every metric. With a consistent double-digit top and bottom line growth profile, Raymond James expects Boston Scientific to be one of the fastest growing large cap healthcare names. We also heard from a five-star analyst at Citi who said that not only did the company exceed on revenue and earnings, it did so on key segments, and they raised their 2024 guidance early in the year. In the last seven days, Boston Scientific has had 18 analysts reiterate their price targets, and all but one have been a buy. Overall, the stock does have 22 analyst ratings. The strong buy rating comes with an average price target of $80.48 for an upside potential of 11.88%. Looking down below, all of them coming pretty much the day of or day after that Q1 earnings report, and a lot in those mid-teens. On the low end, we do have a hold rating here with an upside of 1.5% and a high-end price target of $90 for an upside of 25%. Our second trending strong buy stock is ServiceNow. Their stock trades under the ticker NOW, or N-O-W, currently priced at about $700 per share. Over the past year, the stock has climbed 55%, but has dropped 8% in the last three months, climbing slightly in the last five days. They currently score a 7 out of 10 on the tip rank smart score. ServiceNow is a software company that offers several solutions to streamline and automate different business processes. The company is known for its exceptional capabilities in IT Service Management, or ITSM, allowing organizations to efficiently manage and resolve IT issues, incidents, and requests. ServiceNow also excels in providing tools for IT operations management, enabling businesses to gain greater visibility into their IT infrastructure and optimize performance. They also shared their Q1 earnings report on April 24th, where they not only came out with an earnings beat, but they surpassed their guidance for all profitability metrics. For their Q1, they reported earnings per share of $3.41, coming in well ahead of the $3.13 anticipated. The company did have subscription revenues of $2.52 billion, which represented 25% year-over-year growth, and total revenues came in at $2.6 billion, which grew 24% year-over-year. The company also raised the midpoint of their 2024 subscription revenue guidance. 
Management noted that they have first mover advantage with years of investment in AI technology and talent, and that their Gen AI offerings are the fastest selling in the company's history. And taking a look at what the bulls say versus bears say, they do note their generative AI solutions. The bears did note that the Q1 backlog growth fell short of expectations, which could be a concern for some investors, but there is strong adoption of their generative AI solutions with their AI powered Pro Plus offerings outperforming any new product launch for a comparable period. Weighing in on the ServiceNow stock following that Q1 earnings report was a five-star analyst from Robert W. Baird. Their optimism was particularly influenced by the company's strong quarterly results, which exceeded estimates for both revenue and earnings, and the company's subscription revenue, which showed robust year-over-year -year growth. They noted that the company's consistently high renewal rates and an increase in average contact value underscore their solid customer base and pricing power. In the past seven days, ServiceNow has had 22 analysts weigh in on the stock, and all but one have been a buy. The stock currently has 28 ratings altogether. The average price target comes in at $874 for an upside potential of 25%. Looking at our ratings down below, many of them are north of that 20% upside, uh, and our high-end price target comes from KeyBank with an upside of 35%. We have to scroll back a ways here to January to actually get to our low-end price target, which has an upside of 11%. If you've made it to our third stock today, this is your reminder to make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Third on our list of trending strong buy stocks is T-Mobile. They trade under the ticker TMUS and are currently priced at about $163 per share. They've climbed 15% in the past month, including 1.8% in the last three months, and have cooled off ever so slightly, fairly flat over the past five days. They do score a 9 out of 10 on the TipRank Smart Score. T-Mobile is one of the largest telecom companies in the United States. Founded back in 1994, they have become the nation's leader in providing 5G wireless services and is the only wireless network provider to offer 5G across the whole of the lower 48 as well as Alaska, Hawaii, Puerto Rico, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. Along with their 5G market, they're also working to improve their position in the U.S. rural and business wireless markets, each with a substantial addressable market. Their Q1 earnings report came out on April 25th. Now, revenue did fall slightly short of expectations, but they did post an earnings beat, plus had some best-in-industry customer additions. For their first quarter, they reported earnings per share of $2, coming in $0.14 cents ahead of expectations. Now, their overall revenue came in at $19.59 billion, which fell $240 million short of estimates, but they did have postpaid net customer additions of $1.2 million, which was the best in the industry, and several of their service revenues and postpaid service revenues had best-in-industry growth. Checking in on what the bulls say versus bears say, the bulls say that the untapped data analytics and Gen AI opportunity present a potential for T-Mobile to improve their future operating and financial performance, and that their rural initiative is likely to drive significant volume and revenue growth. On the other hand, the bears say that lowered equipment revenue could reflect a slower pace of upgrades and that fixed wireless subscription growth is anticipated to decelerate. A five-star analyst from Citi provided some insight on the T-Mobile stock following their earnings report. They said that the company experienced lower customer churn and better than expected postpaid phone volumes, which are key indicators of a healthy telecommunications business. They're confident in T-Mobile's ability to execute against the revised 2024 targets, which were slightly raised, pointing to a strong future outlook. 13 analysts weighed in on the T-Mobile stock in the past seven days, and all of them have come in with a buy. Overall, the T-Mobile stock has 15 analyst ratings, once again, sticking with all buys. The average price target is just shy of $190 per share for an upside potential of 15.86%. Down below, a lot of our ratings here in those double digit upsides. Our low end price target is this 7% upside from Bank of America, and our high end price target comes in from Tigris Financial with an upside of over 25%. So that is a quick look at three stocks trending with Wall Street analysts in the past week and picking up a lot of buy ratings. Let me know your thoughts on these three companies in the comments down below. I always appreciate hearing from you guys. Of course, keep in mind these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock, just keeping you up to date with what those Wall Street analysts are looking at. So please make sure you always stick to your own investment plan. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you back here next time.